right. I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I am looking at some kombucha under the microscope. And this is actually some hard kombucha from a brand called Babe Kombucha here in San Diego. And my curiosity was just to find out, um, is hard kombucha probiotic? So I was like, well, wait a minute, I've got some and I've got a microscope, so let's go take a look. So I've got a camera hooked up to my um, AM scope. It's a, like a decent entry level microscope. Anyway, here, here we are. I'm not sure the magnification because um, even though it's a good camera, it's kind of cheap Chinese made one and the documentation is not very good. So I can't tell what the default magnification is, but I took a drop of um, the kombucha, which was poured from the keg about eh, four days ago, five days ago, and put it on a slide, uh, put a little slip cover over it, put it under the microscope, and here we are. So uh, it looks like I, I can see both bacteria and yeasts. So I'm just kind of moving the, uh, the stage around here. Uh, I try to level it off, but you can kind of see things are, it's not perfectly level, so the liquid is like sliding one direction, but I almost leveled it off. But all right, it's not a good sample here. Let me just get over here. Just kind of moving it around. All right, so you can kind of see, I'm just gonna adjust the, or not the resolution, but the focus. Kind of see some rod shaped and then some sort of bouncy round shaped uh, organisms that appear to be vibrating. I think those are the different um, cocci. Still trying to get the hang of this uh, microscopy thing. I'm going to move it over. Here we go. Here's here's some examples where you can kind of see right in the center there is a, kind of a rod-shaped critter kind of vibrating. And at the same time, you might, well, I'm not sure if that's a just a piece of debris or if it's a yeast cell, because my understanding is yeast cells are quite a bit larger than um, bacteria something like 100 to 1. So um, pretty sure these are a, a rod-shaped bacterium that we're kind of seeing here, like I said, right in the center. Let me see if I can locate uh, a yeast cell because they definitely have a, a look to them. They're kind of ovoid and you can kind of see their, uh, their nucleus. So let me see if I can just scan. And find a. These might be them. They all. Those also might be uh, bubbles. Let's see. Yeah, those are probably bubbles. Uh, let's go find. Let's keep searching here. Some more uh, bacteria. They're definitely wiggling, having fun, enjoying the 7% ABV, no doubt. I think that's just a piece of debris. I have non unscientific grade cleanliness here in my fermentarium, but I do use you know alcohol swabs to wipe off the slides between samples, but you never know. I'm very amateur when it comes to this. All right, let me see. I'm just going to move around. Let's see. Anybody got uh, if you're on and you have uh, um, something you want to ask or share, let me know, especially if you know how to do this stuff. All right, let's see if I can get some yeasts in the frame. That just looks like kind of debris again.
that's interesting, but I don't know if that's, uh, let's see what that is. That might be a yeast stream, or a, who knows. Okay, this guy could be a yeast cell right here, kind of in the, moving towards the left, just uh, below center. But usually they're a little bit more prominently, like, uh, like I said, ovoid, almost egg-shaped. Let's see if we can keep going here. Yes, it is a very cool new toy. Right, let's see if uh, But yeah, so uh, it looks like again I, I don't have any way of counting these these organisms, but um, we can say with certainty that there is living um, probiotic bacteria and yeasts that are in can be found in high alcohol kombucha so that's one mystery solved let's see if i can resolve this here and again this is kind of just debris but and maybe i mean i wouldn't really expect there to be a lot of yeast cells but um if anybody on chat has any insights into that i think the yeast would expire sooner than the bacteria but again, that's just speculation based on my kind of limited understanding. I think uh, bacteria are a little more acid tolerant. Um, and of course, as um, yeast do the fermentation, after they're done, they usually kind of die off. I mean, that's true with the wine and, and beer and all that. So uh, it, it's not surprising that we're seeing more uh, bacterial cells um, than yeast cells. It's not surprising to me, but yeah. I'm, Fairly limited understanding of the microbiology, but uh, you can kind of see some more wiggling, wiggling critters here. Oh, I see that. I would say. So Travis is the, the brewer behind this uh, deliciousness. So he says yeasts are not there intentionally because um, cold crashing is done to clarify. So that's very, very important to know. So thanks. So we shouldn't expect to see yeast cells, uh, which is kind of what we are uh, witnessing. Okay. Also good to know. So an active ferment would have a way higher cell count. That's absolutely true. So... Um, Again, this is about eh, almost a week. I, I got it from a, from the keg at the tasting room on Saturday, and it's been in my refrigerator for the most part since then, so five days later. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do another experiment with um, freshly sort of tapped um, kombucha and just do a comparison, but um, at least we know that even a few, uh, a few days into it, the, uh, some of the microbes do survive even in hard kombucha. But yeah, it's good to know. So when we when they're processing it, in order to clarify it and make it not cloudy, they do um, strain out or uh, yeah, let, let the yeast kind of, I don't know if it's flocculate or, or what the process is, but cold crashing, which uh, removes the yeast and makes it a clearer, clearer beverage. So we shouldn't see too many yeasts, which and that is what's what we're looking at here. So uh, anyway. Just wanted to share my real-time uh, excitement about uh, answering my own question about whether hard kombucha is probiotic or not. Awesome. Kind of know. I kind of know some stuff after a while after uh, hanging out with smarter people like uh, than me. So uh, very good. Very good. So yeah, if you guys have any other uh, uh, questions or thoughts, 
Um, again, I'll do some more practice with my microscope, but kind of see little wiggling, wiggling critters indicating some degree of probiotic content in a high alcohol hard kombucha. All right, I think that'll be it for now. Uh, drop a comment if you have a favorite brand of uh, kombucha or any other kombucha-related questions. Thanks for watching.